For my son, he graduated high school, went to somebody's house, and was given an Oxycontin on a mirror by someone's father, who was not a pain patient, not a legitimate one. He walked with a cane, but he didn't have pain. And there are people that do, and I want to acknowledge that. But there are too many that don't, that just give it out, deal it, and kill people. And many of our kids might end up dealing it themselves because they're gone after they get that addiction and then they need to feed it. And that becomes their only role in life every day is where am I gonna get my next fix because I can't live without it. It takes someone's child and replaces it, him or her with someone else. I'm fed up. I'm tired of the death. I'm tired of the destruction. I'm proud of all the people that are here that came together from all over the country. In Massachusetts, we just had a celebration at our state house that there's been 2,000 saves since they started nasal naloxone. I have a hard time with the word celebrate. I agree with the other speakers. We shouldn't need it. And until they do something back here, we're just gonna keep losing more and more precious lives. These are our sons, our daughters, our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our fathers. I'm proud to stand up with everybody today and I hope this is the first of many and I hope someday we don't have to do this anymore but I'll never give up. The government may have shut down but I won't ever give up.